and boom boom the next thing 419 has entered 419 say something as positive as this why does jaga jaga have to enter the story hello guys and welcome back to my channel if you're new to my channel hello and welcome to my channel my name is summer so a lot of you may have heard the story about this nigerian lady that uh, her name is uh, hilda bassi so she was trying to break the record uh, guinness world record for cooking time longest cooking time apparently there's already someone that holds that title and she's an indian and uh, this is a, hilda is a nigerian by the way okay so she decided to do it and i absolutely like i get i got goosebumps when i saw the amount of support she was getting oh my goodness go into like you know people were coming people were coming to play music people were coming to show support you know i think that was one woman that i think that's her mother the max people were turning up from everywhere just to support her even the governor of the state Son Olu, was there he there was a video you know of him eating some of the food and you know and all of that a picture of him eating some of the food and amazing you know let me tell you guys you know as a nigerian where as a nigerian when we we always unfortunately turn up on the news for a lot of negative things and a lot of uh, not not too nice things or things not to be proud of it was it's nice to see something as interesting as, as this okay now somebody say with this matter in heaven this is not about what to matter in heaven it's just it was fun you know it was something nice it was something pure something fun like i said and uh, she created excitement for the few days that it lasted i only Tell people you see this life, there's so much jaga jaga in this life. When you find the content that brightens your day, that's nice. You know, we can come here and talk about the things happening in the country, talk about this, talk about, but when we see something that like light-hearted and something and um, fun, it's also nice to you know have something um what is it called? I think I use the word pure to talk about something, you know, um, you know, what's it called now? Uh, light-hearted that's what i want to i want to i'm, I'm looking for light-hearted to talk about so she did a lot of cooking cooking and all that so apparently she has a uh, you know this morning it was on the news that she has won i actually came across this particular one that said um let me read it I came across to say breaking. That was the first thing I saw this morning. He said Nigerian chef Hilda Bassi breaks longest cooking time record. You know, and Nigerians are jubilating, proud of her. And boom, boom, the next thing 419 has entered. 419. Something as positive as this. Why does Jaga Jaga have to enter the story? Right? Let me read this post to you guys. For you guys to see how some people are it's like they have decided in their lives to continue to give nigeria bad names they went and they posted this thing it's a fake page it says um notice it's apparently it's a fake page and it says guinness world record and it says uh, notice our kitchen supervisor informed us that there's shortage of salt Flour, seasoning, beans, and other food stuff. Without this, with, uh, uh, without these stuffs, Hilda cannot fulfill her ambition. Kindly contribute anything to help Hilda purchase the ingredients. I'm going to blow it out. The account number and they said it's Wema Bank. And they posted this one. Somebody decided to cash out. The same thing, some, somebody that God will help. That's all I'm going to say. That uses my picture and is making posts and telling people donate to an orphanage. Making uh, comments in my comment section. Telling people to donate to an orphanage in Nigeria, whatever, whatever. And I've made several posts warning people. It's not me. It's a fraud. It's a fraud. So this one now that is something positive. News. Something light-hearted. Somebody has sat down somewhere and think about how to 419 it, how to Yahoo it, so that they can rob people. Can you imagine that? And then sometimes I wonder, this bank account, she need to open bank account, you need to have an ID. That's what I always question. You need to have an ID to open an account, right? She need to even ask for your proof of address and everything. To, so how can all this kind of fraud continue in Nigeria? And somebody will boldly put an account number. Are those accounts not traceable? And whoever posting it, are they not traceable? Can these banks not bring out their information so they can be dealt with the right way? That's that. 
Okay, 419, how 419 enter the whole talk. The next thing, B, I didn't know this year before. Until, I don't think a lot of people knew her until this uh, competition she did. People have started digging her pictures. Everywhere, pictures of her. Some pictures that are a bit too much, you know, show, show, or this one. <laughs> Some of them are even looking. I'm looking at it, I'm confused. I'm saying, even, because I've seen the girl where she's cooking. I'm saying, is her hip really this big? Is this really her? Are they photoshopping? Photoshopping. Are they photoshopping this girl's picture and claiming it's her? The hip that I'm seeing in some of these things, oh, they don't look as if it's her. So people sitting somewhere, I say to them, let's sabotage this girl's name or not. I don't know. But at the same time, it still reminds us how all it takes is for you to just have a small name. Become, your name become popular for one reason or the other for people to go and start digging all the diggables. They have already, if you see some of the pictures, that... Mm, some of the pictures that, you know, we, in our culture, typically, pictures that will be frowned at. So this girl is coming out with this whole, you know, oh, she just uh, got the Guinness World Record. She's made us proud and all of that. And then, boom, these other pictures are popping up from left, right, and center. Everywhere you turn, you see it. Everywhere you turn, you see all these pictures. I'm going back to what I was saying. Typically in our culture, those are pictures that will be frowned at. So it's like, okay, this girl has done something positive, something that we will not frown out, something that we will be proud of, something everybody will speak about in a positive way. And some, somehow, pictures of what they know that our society, we our culture we typically frown at are popping up from left, right, and center. Well, at the end of the day, mm, she's an adult. Oh, this is me I feel. Oh, she's an adult. She can post whatever picture. Me, I know the kind of pictures of myself that I would post. Uh -huh. So she's an adult. She can post whatever picture she wants to post. It's her choice. It may not be my cup of tea, but that is her cup of tea. That's her life. Mm. Everybody's life is different. But it was just a reminder of the fact that, like I said, once you make a name for yourself in one way or the other, things will start popping up from everywhere. I remember that thing they say that it's the internet that they say that internet never forgets because any small thing you will see internet will start digging up something that maybe even the person has even forgotten about but anyways i wanted to quickly come and share it here congratulations to her because it's not easy to enter guinness uh, book of records or guinness world record it's not easy no be more more and uh, congratulations to her and uh, hopefully it can help her in her I, I think that she's a chef so hopefully maybe she can open a restaurant or maybe she already has a restaurant and uh, this will boost her business so, so at least we can say thank you to her for at least putting nigeria on the world map when i say world map like nigeria in the news with something uh, positive and uh, that's how i feel about this today's story as always whatever your opinions are about the whole thing the 419 in the yahoo aspect of it and uh you know how breaking this record is whatever your opinions are about it uh please feel free to leave them in the comment section below and with that i'm gonna say thank you for watching until the next time guys bye bye bye